Hi, my name is Steve. And I was wondering if there was any other well-known irrational numbers in pi. Everyone knows about pi. Thanks so much. So you want to know if there's any other famous irrationals other than pi, huh? Actually, there are. Um, and some of the more interesting numbers in mathematics are irrational numbers, to tell you the truth. Um, certainly pi. Pi is obviously very common. Everybody's heard of pi. Um, pi is the, the ratio of the distance across the circle to the distance around. Uh, if, we have the, if we measure our way around the outside of a sort of circle, not such a great artist here, if we take the distance around the outside of a circle and we divide it by the distance across the circle, so we divide the circumference by the diameter, we get pi. And that happens with any circle, no matter how big it is, no matter how small it is. If you take the distance around the outside and divide it by the distance across, pi is the number you come up with. It's that 3.14159, and so on and so forth. Yeah. Now, other famous irrational numbers uh, include the golden ratio. Um, the golden ratio is a really cool number, actually. Golden ratio. Um, the golden ratio is approximately... 1.62 or so. Um, you'll find the golden ratio in nature everywhere, and it's fascinating the number of places you'll find the golden ratio in nature. Um, you'll find it in uh, honeycomb, uh, the honeycomb patterns that bees make. You'll find it in um, a pine cone. If you look at a pine cone from above, the ratio of the numbers of of little uh, sections to the pine cone as you go around. Um, you'll find it in people. You'll find it in people all the time in the dimensions of the human body. Uh, the distance from the top of your head to your nose to your chin. Um, you'll find it in uh, nautilus shells, the spiral shells um, that look kind of like so um, that, that uh, sea creatures leave. The, you'll find the golden ratio in nautilus shells like that in the ratio of their areas, the different parts of the shell. Um, I definitely recommend looking it up. It's fascinating. Golden ratio is very, very cool, and it's neat how many places you see it in nature. Um, the other, another famous number, E, uh, the mathematical constant E, um, always kind of represented by a lowercase e like this. That's a number that you're going to see in finance all the time. Financial constant is what it's sometimes called um, because it's used to calculate uh, compounding interest. As as you compound interest in smaller and smaller numbers or smaller and smaller time periods, the amount that you take an original number multiplied by approaches e, um, and you'll see. Uh, as you deal with this a little more on into Algebra 2 and so forth, that E is something you'll use more and more as you get into different kinds of financial calculations. So there's a few of them, pi, golden ratio, E. Um, particularly golden ratio, uh, I definitely recommend learning a little bit more about this. It's really kind of neat all the places you find it in nature. Um, you will definitely see E if you do anything to do with banking. Um, if you ever take out a loan, uh, it's definitely something you should understand because it, it's involved with calculating how much interest you're going to pay on that loan. So there's some examples of famous irrationals for you. <laughs>